I'm Asafa Powell and welcome to the Fast Lane Lifestyle with the Powells. And to my left, we have Alicia Powell. And introduce yourself with the mic. Michael Frito. Um, the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Michael Frito, former Olympian and the world record holder as well. Woo! Yeah, they, uh, what? You see that? It's in great company put over that, here. Put, you have to put that in it, you know. Yes. Yeah, definitely yes. Have to put that in it. I love that. You know, but, you know, um, I've always wanted, you know, a platform like this to where, you know, I could talk to my friends, you know, uh, because Michael uh, has always been very low key, reserved. very quiet, very reserved. Like how he's and being I've, right now. Man, for years, <laughs> for years, I've always been saying to this man, yo, you need to, you know, you need to go here, go there. You know, whenever I'm going somewhere, right. I, I'm like, yo, come with me. No, Put yourself no, out it's there. It's too formal, it's too formal, <laughs> like too much, too many rich people out there and all that stuff, you know. So I've always wanted, you know, the opportunity to have him like on you know, a platform. a platform where you could, you know, talk about stuff, discuss a lot of stuff, because we, we've always had good conversations. Right. I mean, a lot of times, you know, it might be, you know. Voice notes, quick conversations no, here and there, no? might have a little liquid. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Look, a liquid <laughs> courage, but, you know, I've always wanted to have a platform because Michael has a very in- interesting story. Michael has had so m- so many great moments on the track and off the track you know we've had so much fun but i don't think he has ever gotten the chance to really tell his put it out there tell his story, story. you know you know i yes. had no choice i had to I, be right know, everywhere on the camera but michael is always just short and you know to the point right and i really respect <laughs> that about him and people don't people don't know this michael is very very educated and I've always admired him for mm-hmm. that. Sometimes I feel a bit intimidated because mm-hmm. this man. Did you know that? He feels you intimidated. Don't know that. Yeah, I feel intimidated <laughs> because, you know, he's always like, he's always like business minded, always straight to the point. Right. You know, and he's one of those friends that I have. Like, if he hears something about me, he's calling me. He's right. not going to just jump up and or say, assume anything. Assume. He's yes. going to call me and say, this is what I heard. Right. And he gave me the chance to explain myself. Right, right. And stuff like that. So, you know. I'm fangirling right now. I mean, I always tease him, but... (laughs) (laughs) But I would love to know, how did you get into track and when did you get into track? Because I know you, Saf, you got into track late, as Mm -hmm. you would say it, you know. I got into track very late. Michael Michael went through the entire system. Well, I got into track very early, well... Most of us growing up, well, I grew up in the country. I grew up in Trelawney, somewhere, um, also spring. Mm-hmm. Most people don't know that when they meet me, they'll, they'll, they'll always automatically assume that I'm from Kingston and I went to mm-hmm. a City boy, right. Or something yeah, like too but, fancy, man. Like but <laughs> not at all. Um, actually from Trelawney. Oh. Went to a primary school, also spring primary, and that's where I grew up for my um, earlier years. But for me, we started there with um, sports day. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was nice. Jamaican kids, sports yes. So I got into that early. I loved track from, from a young age. I had two older brothers that were into track as well. Um, Linda was like five years older than me. Mm-hmm. So by the time I was nine, that time we had common entrance. Mm-hmm. So we could have left school early if you were... Smart. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> so, You're too smart. <laughs> um, by the time I took my command entrance, my, well, my dad was in Jelani, my mom was in Kingston. Right. My mom was actually from, from, from Kingston. So um, my brothers were at Woolmans at the time. Mm-hmm. So um, took my command entrance early, um, passed it, but I, I went to Knox for a year. And after a year, um, I decided to follow my brothers to Kingston, to Walmart's. And that's where my um, tracker really, really took oh. off. Side note, I would have stayed in Knox mm-hmm. um, because it was, a, I liked it there. Right. Um, very private um, in, the, in the hills of Spalding um, in, Ma- in Manchester. Mm-hmm. But I went out for the track team there. Oh. And they told me I was too small. What? Yeah, I'd what? never forget that. <laughs> really too small. Yeah. So as in like you need height to run yeah, or something? That was, as I said, I went to school early, so I don't know mm. if it oh, was that. Oh, right, right. Um, wow. So I was just like, all right. Um, 
Okay. I'm out of here. Right. Prove, prove them wrong, you know? Can you imagine? I mean, the man who always proves people wrong. Yes. I've always been doing that uh, from, from a young age, just right. proving people wrong. So, went to Woolmers. We were um, under the guidance of Coach Stephen Francis from, I think, from about 10. So, that's how long. 10. I've been working with um, oh. Mr. Francis. Smart. I didn't know smart. that. The man passed everything early. Now I understand why you're intimidated. Yeah, this man, this man, this man took, like, 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 I try to make sure my conversations are one way, you know, because the minute I, if I go into politics, you him, know, you he's don't stand there a chance. And I'm right here. This man, IQ different. So, so that's where the track started for me. Um, early, second form, Woolmers at 10 years old. So nine going 10, whatever. So, um, two, but you, you was a star boy at Champs, so. Yeah, man, um, I was very, I had a lot of success at Champs from my early age. Um, from, from class four, I was highly competitive with the older boys. Mm-hmm. And by the time I got to class three, I think even the first, my first year class three, I was the favorite to win both the 100 and 200, but unfortunately oh. I got hurt and I was only um, able to win the run, the four by one. Mm-hmm. Right. Which we actually won. And then the following year at Champs, um, pretty much dominated from the start of and the season. And everything took off. off season. Yeah. Wow. But, but Mikey, you realize, you realize back in them days, because I mean, my sh- my Champs history kind of short, but <laughs> then back happened. in them days, <laughs> back in those days, us running against these guys nowadays, they would just drug leave us. I mean, at, that, at that age, but the that, training was different. The training was different. I think there was a lot of things different back then. The training was different. Um, Champs was very compact then. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I think they have five days. Right. Then we had to do everything one, two, four by one mm-hmm. in three days. Everything was just jam packed. And I the think it's, training the, training, the training was different. Mm-hmm. I think there are no of a more professional yeah, structure. more elite training. Oh, so that's, elite how training. So that's yeah. how you're seeing those times. So that's how you're seeing those times. we were just like, oh, he's fast. So. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. back then in class when you'd have guys running like 10 fives, 10 six, right. and that would be very fast. Right. Yeah. Now you have them running 10 ones and, mm-hmm. and they're about mm-hmm. it. Yeah, for sure. But Mike, your, your record, your champs record, when did they break it? Like two years ago? No, man, did. Um, yeah, so the record was broken about six years later by... Um, Former teammate of ours, Winston Barnes. I think it oh. was Winston that, that, oh. that broke the record. Oh, okay, wow. okay, okay. I think so, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, yeah, but, you know, this man, this man's a legend, though, because the thing is, you left Champs and you you went to TCU and, you know, I went to, to UTEC. I didn't mm-hmm. really, I know of you um, those years, mm-hmm. but I, I didn't know you personally. And um, you came back to Jamaica 2004. 2004 or three? 2003. No, man. I mean, the. To, to MVP. MVP 2004. Yeah, so you came back 2004. That's 2004. when you both first met. No. And you know, we met before that. Before that. But so after Champs, you, you left and you went to TCU, which is a school that I almost go to. I almost went to that school. And you, you, you came back to Jamaica. You finished college 2004. 2004. Well, actually. Yeah. After I left Woolmers, I left Woolmers early, mm-hmm. um, like 14 going on 15. And wow. uh, my mom had migrated to, to Florida. So after I graduated from Woolmers, I actually went back to school in Florida for a year at Boyd Anderson High School. Mm. Just, he was just basically spending some time with my mom. Right. Then I went off to TCU after that. So after TCU, I um, came back to Jamaica in 2004. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah. That's when, so when did you guys first meet no, each other? We, we met 2002. We met each other 2002. 2002 um, Commonwealth Games. No, it was before Commonwealth Games because actually um, he was at the Penrillies. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, one of yeah, the yeah. I've always been in contact with um, Coach Francis Coach, from, yeah. from high school. I see some smiling, yeah. some memories over no, there. I think, no, I always, <laughs> no, I always knew, knew about Michael because everyone is always talking about right, him. Right, right. Um, so it's like I felt a connection even before we met. You guys, met. okay. So the minute we met, it's like, it was like yeah, so easy. It was, right. it was super easy. And from, from this man come back to Jamaica, we've just been real close because we're moving, we were living in the same um, apartment, apartment, you know, when, okay. he, when he came and for maybe three, four years, you know, and whenever we go to ch- mm-hmm. competitions, we're roommates, all the championships, we're all roommates, the and it's just, just automatic. Right. They know that Michael and Asafa right. is going to be roommates. And it's you know, always so, a vibe. 
It was a vibe. We had, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. I remember. I'm going to ask. I Michael is always kind of quiet, you know, so he might not want to talk a about silent the silent killer. He's, he's definitely a silent killer. Definitely. But, you know, when we, we started to travel to trap meets, um, that same year. Yeah, man. 2004. Well, from two, no, 2002, remember? 2002. Commonwealth Games. Yeah. Yeah, and then after, yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah. the first. It may, the first brain, the brains right. can't right. remember right. more. Right, exactly. The brains can't remember more. And then but what's your Paris f- was 2003. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have been doing this a long time. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, man, long yeah, man. Time. It's, yeah, It's a lot of years. That's been a lot of years. That's what, 20 years? <laughs> Man. Man, I always tease years. you guys saying that the hot boys are the old boys, no? <laughs> Man. Yeah, things things sometimes have changed because I remember we were having so much fun. You know, we 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 knew it we knew it was a serious game out yeah. here on the track, but we we always try to have fun. I remember um going to trap meets, like one day we would, you know, at breakfast we would drink coffee. And then we go on the track and run real fast. Mm-hmm. So we're like, yeah, we have to drink coffee. Oh, every, every that, time. that seems like something you guys. I remember, <laughs> what, I remember one time we had um, we had we had some soda to drink, <laughs> and then everywhere we go, we 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 think we thought. So we you thought it was soda. that making yeah. you run fast? Yeah, we're oh, like, geez. all right, we have to drink some soda, <laughs> you know. And then the 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 time, the first time when I when I broke the world record, mm-hmm. you know, we had ice cream, <laughs> <laughs> and then today. Athletes, they're like very yeah, serious, strict man, on their diet. We had, we had ice cream, man, and every trap meet after that, man, at lunch, we're eating ice cream. Oh, that was the, you know? the oh, trick. Man. Those, those <laughs> were the days, man, and we had a lot of fun. We enjoyed your, ourselves. What's your favorite memory of each other? Like, when you think of it, I know there's a few, but what's <laughs> one of them? I see laughter. <laughs> I want to hear the juice. Like, what's, you don't have to name all of it. I just want to know one where... I know it happens a lot with Saf. We'll be in the car. He'll be like, yo, I have to call Mikey right now. Does he remember this time when that happened? And <laughs> what's one of them that you think about or like one of your fondest memory? For me, um, I think my fondest memory um, with Asaf was, 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 was a bittersweet one. It was at the 2008 Beijing Olympics where we both, I think, underperformed mm-hmm. in the 100 meters. I think we got... Um, Fourth and fifth, fourth and fifth yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Right. But we, we both underperformed. We, we went in there with um, high expectations. Mm-hmm. I mean, you say in one the race, but I think we both expected to have done a lot better. And it was just that brotherly embrace after the race where we both looked at each other and I think we still hugged and we accepted our defeat. Mm-hmm. And we, we just knew that we had definitely had to come back and make a difference. Right. And I think the four by one was actually one of the um, the greatest races that Asaf has ever run. I think to this point, it's still the fastest anchor leg ever. Mm-hmm. So I think it was just, you know, out of disappointment, just bouncing back. Right. And I think for me, that was the greatest memory for us. And, and talking about that moment, you know, Nesta Carter came... To, um, to join us Whoa. and he was also a part of a part of that great you know relay team you know he's not always late you know it's just <laughs> <laughs> business man <laughs> yeah but he was late to join the mvp team because you know it was me and michael at first and then nesta came and he joined us and um alicia asked michael about his best moment i yes. guess with with each other yes you know or yeah fondest yeah. memory me, of each yeah, other for me for me i've had so many great memories, you know. Um, a lot, a lot. I don't think Michael and Nesta would want me to discuss. <laughs> and as the ones I want to know, <laughs> and on this podcast, but you know, we we've had so many great moments. Michael spoke about the relay, you know, and um, it was the chemistry that we have, you know, with with each other. You have to remember, you know, we were, we were, you had both. And you had Michael, myself, and Nesta. We were the four fastest men in the world mm-hmm. for years. You know, you guys are, are legends. You know, we've, we've had so many great times. Like, there are some times when I would go into races, and these are the guys who would knock that nervous, nervousness out of right. my bones. Nesta would just walk up to, 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 the, to the line and just walk over to me. Hey, I'm going to beat it to 70 meters today. <laughs> right? And then I just start laughing. You know, Michael would just look over and say, hey, you ready? 
you know, and it was you know, fun. Like, like stuff, yeah, like stuff like that yeah, would I th- just I think get... especially back then it was just we against the world, right? Yeah. Because at that time we were just really coming back to the fore on the men's side. Women have always been, you know, dominating. Right. Really, not Juliet Cuthbert, all those ladies. Mm-hmm. But for us, the men, apart from Donald Corey and Ray Stewart back in the, you know, mm-hmm. the, the 80s. Um, Mr. Cameron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it was a lot of, yeah. For, for, the, for the sprinters, it was, yeah. it was just now that Jamaica had started to, to dominate. The US had always had something over us. Mm-hmm. And from, from that time, we were just giving them the business, so to speak. Right. Every mm-hmm. year, you know, they couldn't get a chance. Apart from Tyson occasionally, mm-hmm. we were just dominating mm-hmm. at that time. So it was just us against the world at that time. Yeah. So, um, Nesta, Nesta um, you went to Manchester High School? Yeah, man, I went to the great Manchester High School. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so maybe you can just tell us a little bit about high school, then joining the MVP. MVP. Yeah. Um, well, I started off at Manchester High running the the 400, 200, what? and the 100 really? meter, right? Um, I had Mr. Mr. Jerry Holness, and Mr. Wayne. Mm-hmm. And then I remember 2005 champs. I think that's the first year I met you guys at the senior championship. Yeah, yeah. So I picked up two silver medals at the champs and um, spoke with the coach. I was like, I want to run at the senior games. I came to the senior games. You know, I never made it past the first yeah. round. <laughs> came out, I ran the eats. And then, because Sharon went to the same high school, yeah. so sitting in the stadium with Sharon, and then I saw for walk over, and I say, saw for Paul that the man just went and just had chill. <laughs> and then I saw, I saw free time, and I said, yo, that brother ain't that much taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, um, Came over to MVP the September that year and um, started training with a legend. So that's, that's when I asked uh, Mr. Francis um, which event I'm going to run because I can't run all three. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, you ain't running nothing else until you become world beater in 100 meter. Yeah, good. I was like, world beater. Wow. Me, man, try and beat them too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it, was a, it was a, no, the first time Nesta um, came to MVP. What what was the first thing we recognized about him? <laughs> what was the first thing we recognized about him? <laughs> the calves. The calves. The calves. <laughs> this man had the biggest calves in, in, in his... Still. He's still no, does, yeah. calves, still, still man. Still this, does, man has, so, this man has so much muscle. Yeah. This man was the muscle man. Family genetics, man. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Or is it banana grung? No, I can't. Banana, banana grung. Banana grung. <laughs> Yo, when I went to banana grung, you know, I had to, I had to walk. I had to walk for two hours and Suffer. ride ride a donkey Suffer. occasionally. Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> In the 80s when you just went to banana grung. <laughs> I had to ride a donkey, you know, half the way, you know. And I walked oh, two goodness. hours. I'll take it to banana going one day. I have I like to, to ride see. a donkey and everything. Yeah, <laughs> you're <all> riding <laughs> it. <guys>. Experience, <laughs> you know. But you know, from there, Nesta went to the first team was 2007 at the World Championship. Yeah, 2007 in Osaka. Yeah, that's that. That was Nesta's first team, mm-hmm. um, and we we got silver. We got in silver the relay, in the relay. At, at, at that championship, yeah. and from there it was just. Just, we, we were just, just dominating, right. dominating from 2007. How did that yeah. feel? I think a lot of times when you're in the moments of things, you don't realize the impact you've had on the sport. So now and looking back, how does this send chills? Like, can you sit there and just, I can't believe we did that or I can't believe that I did that? It does. It does because what we went through back then and to sit in here and sit, watching other persons compete mm-hmm. and representing your country. And then um, once they win, you all win. Right. Right. We went through that era without egos. Right. Know, mm-hmm. but, you know, everybody right. nowadays is a, is a diva yeah. or a, most of them have not even done anything. And I think mm-hmm. they're superstars. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think that's one of the things with nowadays athletes. They need to take a, a backseat and realize that they really haven't done anything to be acting the way they are. And... I mean, what we've done kind of set a platform where they actually expect Jamaicans to be mm-hmm. a certain way. Right. But mm-hmm. these guys nowadays need to be disciplined and Reach actually it. 
Yes. Reach you know, do and something right before the start. <laughs> you've you've paved like the way start. and you guys yeah, were humble I'm, all throughout this is, this and is the took hard work. I know. He, you know? He's always quiet, yes. but this is the man I know. <laughs> speak his mind. You know, and this is this is a platform you can speak your mind. Right. The, the, one of the reasons why I said that is because these two guys, right, um, they have done so much. I mean, all three of us, mm -hmm. we have done so much in the sport. Michael, for me, Michael, Michael happens to win a medal in the 100 meter before I mm -hmm, did. Mm -hmm. um, I got 2005, I got injured um, after I broke the world record. And, you know, I went to the world championships and this man, this man was, for me, was the favorite to win that mm -hmm. race. And you got what, second? Michael mm -hmm. got second place and nobody recognized that unt up until now. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I don't hear nobody talking about it. And stuff like that um, get me upset. Right. Stuff like that pissed me off. You know, and then people are going to want to disrespect this man. This man got third place in the 100 meter mm -hmm. in the biggest event. Biggest event, the 100 meter. These, this man got a, got third, third, sorry, third place. Right, you're mm -hmm. passionate no, nobody, right now. Nobody don't, talk about, <laughs> no, but nobody don't talk about it. Right. Why, why would they give, I, I, why would they give out three that. medals? If, 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 if the other two medals are not important, why would they give them out? Right. Why they don't keep them and just give the gold medal? We have to understand, you know, life is not about second or third place. First, it's just focusing on the winners, just mm -hmm. like the football games. Mm -hmm. You have 22 players on it. You only remember who no, scored today. Well, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, but, yeah, that's, that's, but, how, that's how people think. That's how some people think. That's how some people it's think. It's conditioning you thinking. You had the dietic when person who so going to like, you know, know the a, stats. In the world of uh, how much, what's it, one, how much billion people? Right. Mm -hmm. You're Seven. actually third in the world. Third in the entire world. In the entire yeah. world. Yeah. third fastest right. man. Right, it should be recognized. It's something. No, man. I'm not talking about the eight men in that finals. They're the eight fastest man in the world. But you don't have persons breaking down things into perspective while watching a race, you know. But um, our thing is like you would, you would, you would travel, right? Mm -hmm. and, and people would remember that, right? But when you're in your own country, country no. But you you come back to Jamaica, nobody remember that you you, you finish right. second or or third place. You know how many countries just want to make a finals? True, or even qualify. Oh mm -hmm. gosh, just to run to qualify, at the event. Right. To run. So Jamaican people just they just get too proud and just forget about everything else. I remember um um what why your name again? Cherica Williams. Cherica Williams, right? Cherica Williams finished at the she Olympic Games. Second, 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 second at the Olympic, Olympic, Olympic Games. Second at the World Championship. It's not no people finishing. Um, no, nowadays, no is when they're. You know, jumping and saying, oh, second place and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But Asafa, you know, we brought them bad still. A yeah, I think that's what it is. A whole heap of gold this short, you know. Yeah, we break them bad. <laughs> we break them, we break them so. bad. But still, you know, I I want more for you guys. I want more for all of us. Right. To be you know celebrated. I mean? Yeah, and to be celebrated. Like, I, I, I think I saw something the other day where you were saying, somebody said something about Michael. Mm -hmm. And... Sometimes you see some stuff on social media and you want to attack somebody, but you don't know the person. Right. And it doesn't even make sense. Right. You're, you're yeah. arguing with a ghost. You don't, you don't, know, you don't know the person. So sometimes you, you, you want to just stand up and speak out, mm -hmm. but it does feel like a waste of time because it won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when I see people disrespect like me, like, I, I, I don't care. Right. You know, people always ask me, oh, do I bounce back from... All of the disappointment and all that stuff. I'm running for me, mm -hmm. you know. And if I if I go out there and I I mean yes, I'm disappointed, and I know my friends are disappointed mm -hmm. for me, and they're disappointed for themselves mm -hmm. as well, you know. But we know our next move, you know. We 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 will bounce back. Right. But um, to add to that, you know, our training is not just about training to run from here to there. People say run up and down. There's so many different steps that we have to go through in order to go out there and compete. Mm -hmm. So the level of ignoring the negative noise and focus on what you need to focus to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the important things that we will take into perspective when mm -hmm. it comes on to persons talking this or talking that. So we bouncing back, going bounce back faster than other persons that are just going through a similar, mm -hmm. similar mm -hmm. situation nowadays. Right. The mental toughness. Mm -hmm. It's a bit tough out there. Right. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's a bit tough out there. I think that's it's one thing that um, we had as well. For me, it was just 
competing. Competing. Right. Um, they can say whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as I know within myself that I mm-hmm. did my best. Mm-hmm. I really don't care or give a damn about what right. John Public has to say. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But and, mm-hmm. I also believe in um, giving people their flowers while they're still here with us, you know? So... Today we're here to celebrate you guys as <laughs> legends, even if you might not get that a lot. You're still impactful. What you've done for the country mm-hmm. on its own. Kids to this day look up like they're trying to be what you guys created. So Man, I'm 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 always gonna, you know, um, cuss out people for, for these guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 guy. still, I'm still gonna make my videos and cuss people, you know, because at the end of the day, all three of us could have just gone to a different country. I remember we went to, I won't call the country name, but we went to a country mm-hmm. for our games and we got offers mm-hmm. to to compete for that country. Mm-hmm. And if we had done that, it would be another cuss out. Right. Oh, <laughs> no, but people, they, they, would, they would forget if Jamaicans forget things quickly. <laughs> because um, um, Sonia Richards is running for the US. Sonia Richards win World Championship Olympic mm-hmm. Games. Nobody not really cuss her. Sonia come here and she compete in the stadium and it's just all love. Yeah. All love. All Jamaican love. people just want to know that, 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 that they can say, oh, that person was Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So if I go out there and I'm big top celebrity in any other country, Jamaicans like to find the Jamaican in anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if it's your great, 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 great grand, grandmother, <laughs> once you say something about um, Jamaican, Jamaican people say, oh, they, they, they're Jamaican, they're Jamaican. That's how Jamaican <laughs> people are. So I don't think they would really, you know, care that much. <laughs> but we could have done it. All I'm saying is that we could have done it. Right. And I just wanted you, I just want you guys to be celebrated. Right. A lot more. Um, but I must ask, ask, ask um, all of us the same question. Like, um, for me, you know, my regret, my regret in the sport is that I didn't do I didn't do more for myself. Mm-hmm. Like I think I could have done a lot more to put myself, you know, out there. Out there. Mm-hmm. A lot more. Like, you know, yeah, with the competitions, you know, I wish I could have done. But I think on that day I I did my best. Mm-hmm. You know, on the day. With with all the circumstances surrounding, you know, with the injuries and mm-hmm. you know, all yeah. that because people don't know about the injuries. What you know, I remember even scenes. 2007, you want you you was in such a great shape. Are you? No, all right. And as you talk about regrets, that's one of the biggest things I think for me was that not listening to my body mm. and being actually too tough in, right. in terms of just running through pain and stuff like that. Because even as I said, 2007, I was in great shape and had a very bad injury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, tried to run through it and actually made it worse where I ended up not... Um, Qualifying for right. the was just stubborn. For the um, well, was stubborn are just stubborn. tough. That's what we are. We are. We are. Oh, we are. We want yeah. to compete. Yeah, right. that's what we are. And I think that was one of the biggest mistakes for me. Yeah. It okay. actually hurt my career later on. Where right. I ended up, I had to do two two surgeries in 2013, mm-hmm. and that's because um, I was in pain. Even mm-hmm. at the London Olympics, I was in pain. And what I should have done actually after the Olympics was just cut the season short, but. We just wanted to compete yeah, just and just continue and just, just run and just run and just run and And some, I think with the management that we had yeah. back then, mm-hmm. should have stepped in at some point and we said, were guys, guinea pigs you need to, you need to back team. up. Our entire <laughs> team was a guinea, was a guinea yeah. pig, I think. And then everybody else who came to follow, you know, I think they just did they, are better than right. They learned. They learned learn from our mistakes and just as you said, what love, love. Rab lat. Yeah, yeah. Lab rat. Yeah. Lab rat. Yeah. 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 We're, we're the lab rats. You know? Yeah, lab rats. So, What's yours? Um, I would probably say 2000 and um, so much years. Probably 2012 mm-hmm. um, at the trials. I think I could have done way better. Mm-hmm. I was in top form that year. And um, I ended up finished, what, fourth? Mm-hmm. fourth so I wanted to run an individual yeah, like at the, the Olympics. Mm-hmm. No, this story, let go back to 2012. You really performed by because he actually finished sixth. Six. Well, sixth. Sixth in the race. Mm-hmm. And he was in great shape. Oh. Because great he was shape. Yeah. And, did, and did yeah. very well on the circuit. But I, was, right. I was doing very yeah. well. And then yeah. I just won, um, finished second at the, the World Indoors. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but 
Yeah. It happens. Right. Yeah. And what's yeah. crazy, you know, um, at the trials, every time we cross the finish line, we're always like, yo, how much you finish? Right. Yeah. Finish? <laughs> <laughs> because we wanted to make sure that we yeah. are the ones on the team. And it was, it was, um, Bolt was the only non-MVP person on, on all of those teams leading right. up leading up to 2011, right? Yeah. 2011. yeah. And, until yeah, you know, it was just... On. All MVP, you know, it was all MVP. It was like MVP Olympics, <laughs> you know. But you know, we we had so much fun, you know. Like I say, a lot we won't get into because it's so much funniest moments of each other. <laughs> well, um, before before Mikey, before we get to the funniest moments, she used funniest to run moments. track. She used to run track. She did. You, you think oh, you just sitting here for, for no said the four. I was like, oh really? Like, I, used to, I used to. I used to run now. run the four. <laughs> <laughs> well, best so, time. Yeah, best time. I used to run the four in high school. I ran um fifty three five. Oh, that's good. I used to train with Ben Johnson yeah. in high school. Oh, yeah, fifty three five in high school is yeah, actually very so, good. Yeah. It was. I, was it yeah. Why you stop? She was modeling, of course. <laughs> she was modeling. I was it's like, like, yeah, I think I'm gonna go here. Training is too hard. It's difficult. Like, if, I choose, and... if I choose modeling, I'll meet herself up. Oh geez. Well, I guess it worked. Destiny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so Man, funniest, funny. Yeah. I need to hear this funniest moments. I mean, give me one, one. For me, funniest moment is when ne- I used Nesta used to dress. Before when Nesta 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 fashion Nesta um fashion back in the days was yo trust me was it funny you see no 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 <laughs> but you know <laughs> no it's just that back then big clothes was the thing yeah was all of us I was looking at us oh, the other day <laughs> for my freight I was like. When we went to the gala mm-hmm. in 2008, I was like, yo, them suits are massive. You know? <laughs> <laughs> What's a big clothes? <laughs> What's big clothes? Yo, that's the fashion, but we used to laugh after him so much. <laughs> uh, for me with Michael, it was any time Michael da- start dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Whenever yeah, yeah, Michael start dancing for me, like, <laughs> What's my, my, my night, my night, right. yeah, you my, know night my day is made, my nice. night is made. Niceness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, to enjoy yourself. I mean, um, most of the times after the track meets, right. especially the ending of the season. Yeah. You really enjoy yourselves. I mean, you work hard. After parties. All, 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 all <laughs> party, party. All on and on again. Yeah, so right. we enjoyed ourselves. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, we, we could go on and on, but we, 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 we have to talk about, you know, life after track. Yes. You know? What's talk everyone doing? We have to talk a little bit doing? about life after track, you know. How? Family. How was Nesta. the switch? Nesta. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> pressure, <laughs> pressure, no pressure, no yo, pressure. Yo, whenever you're ready, um, yeah, man. Yo, don't no make nobody rush you. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't no have no pressure. kids. You still have your uh, No, I don't have any kids yet. Um, in the near future, right? Yeah. right. I'm so jump um, over the truck. Putting things into <laughs> into place before, right? Um, business wise, I have a um a dialysis facility. Nice. First World Dialysis. Um, that's world. the name, First, First world, world Dialysis. dialysis. Okay. And um, we're located on 18A Linders Road. Also have a distribution company where I distribute um, medical product, protective disposables. Mm. Um, business partner, Davian Spence. Big up. Big up, big up, <laughs> Davian um, Spence. Business so man. I push, I push in it and... Phasing out into a new career, right. mm-hmm. really my first year, um, getting you did things what, you, going. You, you did ready to retire it? Because uh, sometimes, I, I, sometimes what, oh, you know, what, 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 what's that feeling, you know, like when it's, it come, it's coming time to retire, you know, you know it's time right. to retire. But sometimes it's like you want to, uh, you, you feel like you haven't accomplished that thing yet or you want to do something before you retire. I mean, it's you always know, but, hard for athletes. Yeah, so. but it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you're retiring at a young age. It's like mm. you're closing a chapter right. in your life that you've been doing People might call it old, years. but we still right. young. Yeah. And that's all you've known, yeah. you know? And, so I, my, and I told myself I was going to retire before him, you know? <laughs> yeah, and he, yeah, <laughs> and, he, yeah. And he did. <laughs> but I had um, so. some sciatic nerves, pain. Mm-hmm. Right. That was just... Injuries. Yeah, injuries. Injuries. Our worst yeah. enemy. Our worst yeah. enemy. I had to... Um, <laughs> Call it a day, but then I had really started the the, the dialysis facility, so mm. I just feel it was easy, to, right. easy to transition into yeah. that. Mikey, um, family is good. <laughs> yeah, family, yes. family is good. Um, one thing with me, which most of my friends know, is that um, I like to keep my things 
Yeah. Private. Especially my family. Mm-hmm. Um, personal mm-hmm. and private because I've seen the the backlash that a lot of people have gotten from it. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, mm-hmm. um, so that's that. But um, business-wise, um, one thing I should mention um, business-wise was, especially to the young athletes, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to come around mm-hmm. saying that they have, in, mm-hmm. they have this investment yeah. for you or, yeah. you know, this business that you should go in. And um, especially myself and Nesta, to mm-hmm. an extent, we got hit big Real time hard. from mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. who came around. Wanted investors. Wanted oh. investors and, and stuff like that. So I think, um, as you said, the management wasn't exactly the best yeah. for us so when, right. we were, no when, we were, much, yeah. when we were coming through. So, I mean, that's just a word of advice for especially most of the young athletes where they're getting this money real quick. Just be careful of these guys. They're going to come around mm-hmm. wanting to be business partners, wanting you to to invest. Um, so just be very careful. One research. thing I learned is mm-hmm. um, whenever you're doing something now, you have to be very hands-on, involved. Fox. Involved or else, you know, people take it for a ride. Successful. But for me, I mean, after I retired, I basically got into the, the cannabis industry cannabis first. <laughs> so, I agree. Um, <laughs> we have a, um, a medical farm and a dispensary there. And I actually got a spin-off from it mm-hmm. um, into um, the hookah lounge. A, a hookah lounge or a club lounge. <laughs> <like, laughs> entertainment the, industry. The entertainment, entertainment industry. Entertainment industry. So, I mean, so, right now, we're, um, for me, business-wise, the cannabis farm, food, dispensary, yeah. um, the 420 mm-hmm. lounge mm-hmm. club. Um, that's, you know, one of the... the Keeping you busy. In, in, in yeah. right. But but Michael has always been that person, though, you know, businessman. Mm-hmm. Like I tell you, Michael, like what what's a degree in? Actually, double Love. double double mm-hmm. degree in political science and history. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, so, right. man, so he has always been that man that man with the business mind. You know, he at one point he said he was gonna be a politician. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't, it didn't was falling to do that. in his dad footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I've I've always admired him, right. you know, as a person and well, um, one of the reasons why I asked you guys to 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 join me as well is because you guys support. So we always support each other, mm-hmm. and even when I was getting married, like these guys support supported me a lot. Like that was one of the the times I see Michael had the most fun. Yes, you remember that? Yes, yeah, yes, and, on the dance floor. Yeah, man. And, and <laughs> yes. these these guys, you know, um, they're very important to me because they always support me. We always support each mm-hmm. other, you know, and I, and, I, and I really love that. You know, mm-hmm. about and, these guys. and that's one of the next thing I need to quickly for, mm-hmm. especially the young athletes. You're going to have a lot of people around you, right? Who are basically yes men, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. And that's one thing with me and Asafa. I mean, he had a few of them around him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Asafa had a lot thing, of them around him. <laughs> well, you see a few. <laughs> one thing he appreciated with, it, with me was that I am going to tell you the truth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're not supposed to be doing that, I'm going to say don't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, Asafa likes cars. Yes. And. We both do, and we'll overindulge mm-hmm. in, in, mm-hmm. in those activities. But sometimes you have to say, yo, don't, don't, don't. You don't need a car right yeah. now. Right. You don't need that. Mm-hmm. But then you have other people who say, yes, yes, yes boss. Yes, just yes, buy yes. the yes. no. right. yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So um, to some of the younger, you're going to have these guys around mm-hmm. you as well. You need to take control of yourself and not listen to everybody. And, you know, not all advice is going to be good advice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's yeah. life after track there's, financially there as is, well. There yeah. is. Mm-hmm. So I would advise them to to start reading. Mm-hmm. It's very important. And um, if you're not reading, listen to some books that are mm-hmm. going to help you in the future financially because they ain't teaching you about money in school. No, no definitely. No. And That's one thing you're learn. And most we, who we, I mean, we, we, if we, we could have been a lot smarter early on in our careers with, with mm-hmm. money. But you know, like I said, we were we were just the guinea pigs, <laughs> we were the guinea pigs, right. you know. But I mean, we we are still learning, still you know. Learning. And um, we we manage to 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 be keeping ourselves afloat and you know mm-hmm. um, start business and you yeah. know. The reading so, helped you a lot. It 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 has, and it's still um, my business partner with First World House is mm-hmm. um, David Edwards Bernan. Um, we been friends from high school and we we share books mm-hmm. right mm, nice and um we've been at it since even now no more than ever 
And he had helped me a lot. And I looked up to, especially Michael. Michael was one of my closest mm-hmm. track and field athletes growing up. And we had share room, share house made for mm-hmm. a couple of years. And um, so we know when to back off right. and when to push forward. In brain, intimidated sometimes, don't you? In brain, used to intimidate <laughs> No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But I'll, I'll bounce ideas off of it. Right. Them. Right. And um, as Michael was just trying to focus on the younger athletes mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. there is life after track and field. And yes. Because the, the, we, we retire early. And then we have we have we had thirty something. It's so imagine bills, the other thirty right. had forty years. Yes, that yep, we have prep for that. Another same yeah, another yeah. 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 Prep for that. <laughs> That's an issue I need to take um, to task as well. When these people out here are trying to tell these athletes to retire, mm-hmm. it's their job. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not a it's not a nine to five where you can be in a, in an office or that curry until you're sixty five mm-hmm. or, or mm-hmm. thereabout. Yeah. If you are good and you're healthy. You might have an eight-year span, six-year span. Or, you know, some of us are lucky enough to have longevity where we get mm-hmm. 10 years or 12 years out of the sport. Mm-hmm. Because most athletes, if you get one good year, you're right. lucky. Yeah. Right. True. Yeah. And, you know, so when these people, when you're not running as fast as you used to, and these people come and tell you that you need to retire, as long as you know you're mm-hmm. out here, mm-hmm. you're still making a living, right. you're still... Um, it's a job. Right. It's a, it, it, it's a right. job as well. So right. don't don't ever let these people tell yeah. you to, to retire. If you if you don't feel like you need to retire, right. you don't retire. Yeah. Right, because it's mm-hmm. it's your it's your yours. job. You're mm-hmm. you're making your income you're making not your for income. them for you. Exactly. So plus exactly. to train for the year and it costs millions and oh gosh. For oh, one gosh. season. Really? Really? Very expensive. It's a very expensive very job expensive. as well. Expensive. So a lot of yeah. money is coming in, but you're still, you have yeah. to pay out. No, 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 no. So you're just coming out, right? Yeah. You finish high school, you want to train professionally. Yes. You have to, say you're from the country like yes, myself. Yes. You have to find somewhere to live. Transportation, to and from training. Um, supplement, food. coaches, fee, oh, food. Oh, jeez. Um, and you don't make money massage, until. And you don't make money until the end of the year. <laughs> oh, right? gosh. Yeah. So, so how do you survive? That's it. That's the thing. I mean, you know, luckily, mm-hmm. luckily, um, MVP wasn't. They had a system. They had a system, mm-hmm. and I have to give um, Mr. Francis kudos for. It. He has developed a very good system where he brings in athletes. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's developed so much over the years. Over the years, now where it's a system where they can bring in athletes and develop them, and then after they have developed, then you you pay back you whatever pay back. or okay. you know mm-hmm. that's that's when. so it, it's a very good system. Which he has developed over the years, and I have to give him um Props, the credit for right. that. Yeah. And we were also lucky; we break out very early. Mm-hmm. You know, we didn't. We weren't there for five, six years before we got the break. Yeah, so yeah, that was good. True. And then he had he had his where the seniors would help a few of the young ones. Okay, mm-hmm. so yeah, man. So yeah, man. You know, we definitely have to thank you guys yes. for for joining us. You know, on this podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, guys that are really you know respect. You know, and um, always keep in touch. You know, Nesta is supposed to Nesta is supposed to come check me for Longest almost time. a year. <laughs> almost a year. Come Nesta will call me. Yo, stop. Yo, I'm come come, I'm gonna come stop. check you today. I'm gonna come check you. I'm gonna give you a link. We can have a drink and sit down and talk Tough. for you a know, year now. But businessman, it's all right. <laughs> I never <laughs> know. <laughs> Outside of track and field, we'll be still busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, it yeah. Worse now. Yeah, I can yeah. I can't, start. Yeah. I still start at five in the morning. Yeah. Go for a run, do the little exercise. So the, the, but yeah, but the fact that you you reach out to me, uh, I appreciate that. You know? okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you're still. You, hold on. <laughs> May I ask you a question? I'll ask Nesta a question first, and Michael can think about it. You're still keeping shape? That's what he said. I, 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 I looked at Michael. I'm still <laughs> run. I'm still do some abs and. Uh, and you, uh, you look. You still. You still look good, Michael. You still look good too. You look good. <laughs> Listen to me. Um, As a run- coach, right? <laughs> I have been running all my life. So when I took a break, I took a break. But I still occasionally, like, um, forgot to mention that we also have a track club, myself yes. and Gregory Little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. We both were at MVP as well. And we, we, we were at races as well. And we came together and we, for the last two years, we, we, we have um, put together at, um, a new track club in Jamaica. Titans. And there's been um, a Titans track club. Yes. So we have been you know, making inroads into the, yeah. into the, system very quickly so i mean 
I do work out with the guys in the off season. In the off season. Coach yeah, yeah, yeah. In the off season. Yeah, yeah. But as Nessa said, um, it's it's been busy. Right. Mm-hmm. It's been busy for myself. It's it's been busy. You find Listen, you find that the coach life kind of similar to just to when you when you were an athlete. I mean, apart from the physical training. Yeah, it's not. It's not. You have to realize that these coaches, especially the good ones. They don't just come at you and just give you a program and mm-hmm. just sit and watch. A bunch of research. You right? have to do research. Mm-hmm. And you have to realize what type of athletes you have. Right. And you have to mm-hmm. monitor and tailor the different track workouts mm-hmm. you have for them. Mm-hmm. So if you see that one thing is not working, you just have to readjust. And I think if you're really into it, you know, some people are just doing it for, for doing its sake. Right. Mm-hmm. You, act, you actually have to learn, learn and master this, this, this craft mm-hmm. and know the specifics and the technicalities about... Um, the events. So, I mean, it's it, it's something that I love. Right. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm passionate about it as well. Well, when I want the bounce back for my track career, I know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's any final words? Um, well, final word for me would be, we're still focusing on the youths. Um, I try to keep in touch with some of the, the younger athletes coming up. Yeah, the Julian Ford, the Taekwondo Trace, the Ronald Levy, just to name a few. Mm-hmm. Kemba Nelson. Um, I try mm-hmm. to still motivate That's some of them. Too, you know? mm-hmm. Right? That's so mm-hmm. I would pass that on to other athletes leaving the sports or still in the sports that is doing extremely well to find a group or just to pass on some words of encouragement to others, try and direct them in the right, right um, position, right path. Right path, yes. In life. And um, just remember that there is life after track. Yeah. Reach. Reach. (laughs) Really is. Reach. You have any final words, Sam? I mean, you know, my my thing is, you know, I'm just happy that, you know, I'm sitting here with, with these two guys. You know, it's been a while since we actually sat in the same, um, same venue, same, you know, the room. Yes, and, same couch. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's in a different coach, but it's been a while, you know, and it's, it's just always a great vibe, you know. You know, it was just an easy vibe just to talk to these guys mm-hmm. as as usual. Right. You know, so I'm just happy with that, and I think the athletes nowadays, they need that. I mean, when you're out there, yes, you know, it, it's every, each man to them to themselves, but you need that kind of chemistry when you're out there as a team. Right. You know, the relay, for, for me, the relay is one of the most exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Togetherness, out there. right. And if you don't have that chemistry, it won't work. Right. True. Because we had the worst, worst button exchange <laughs> on the track. But what we had, we had confidence Chem- right. in each other. Like, I chemistry. know that when Nesta start and give that button to Michael. If me catch him. If you catch him. Because <laughs> this man get out like a rocket. And like I had so much, you know, if, if you are, if you see in both is on the back stretch and Michael is on the mm-hmm. back stretch, he, can't, he cannot leave <laughs> Michael. Mm. Nobody can get Michael yeah. on the back stretch. Yeah. So I had so, so much confidence in, in these guys. And I still do right. up until this day. You know what I mean? So I really want to thank them for yes. that friendship and, the Being athletes there. nowadays they need that kind of you know chemistry with with each other mm-hmm. you know both male and female you right. know they need the chemistry with each other take egos know. out and yeah. just have a good time and yeah because I mean it's a selfish world out there you know but you know you you need you need this you know right so yeah plus it's an individual sports mm-hmm. until it comes on to the race. right right so so, so yeah you yeah, know thank you guys for joining us you know man yes. You Thank know, you for wifey. being here. You guys, you guys who join me. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> one thing. just one thing. Alicia was always, uh, just off, always talking about my dancing. <laughs> and most people don't know that. Huh? I can't do a little thing. You can't do a thing. So <laughs> if you want to see me dance... Come to Fort Go to Fort Speaking about that, I have been... You know, I usually keep the December event in Mandeville, mm-hmm. the in crowd. Oh, yeah. So we, we're having the in crowd yes. this year. So more yeah. dancing. And I want you all to come <laughs> yeah. out to watch Michael Freitas <laughs> dance. Watch him dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Doing some so we're having it on <laughs> December 24 at the Bloomfield Great House. Yeah, man. So. Get yeah, to ride some donkeys. Some must turn out. So definitely yeah. we'll, we'll want to have you guys back. And if you guys have anything that you want to talk yes. about, you know, well, we can, you know, we can definitely have you back. And we sit down and, you know, discuss it. So, yeah, thank you for 
Joy, it's, it's, this is definitely a fast lane lifestyle. Yes, this is. Yeah, right. Well, I might be slowing too, them you down, too, but... You too, <laughs> you too, you too. We'll, we'll make sure the button gets run to your seat. You'll probably right, right. put her up on the... <laughs> put on the third leg. No. Uncle leg. Probably the last 50 meters to go. Jeez. <laughs> so we'll let you run oh, 50 meters. Okay, yeah. I am very, very... That's a privilege. So on that note, thank you for tuning in into the Fast Lane Lifestyle Podcast.